I have taken the precast interview so lightly and just casually I looked into these questions and uh, I failed. Hi, hello. My name is Manohar. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Na Mano Prayanam. As you have seen the title, the, vi the videos regarding precast or credibility interview and the question and answers which the interviewer might be asked in the interview if you are watching this video you might be you might got uh, unconditional offer letter from university especially for any masters program in uk so in this video i will explain all the question and answers which university might ask and how you need to answer those questions to clear your request interview without any problem so let's get started so before going to the previous interview questions please subscribe my channel namana prayan and also i have done couple of videos regarding hair plantation surgery as well wherein i got a huge response from many audience so please do subscribe so let's get started into our topic precast interview or credibility interview so before this i have completed my precast interview and i cleared my interview so to know more about my details how i cleared my interview and which university i have applied and which intake i am going please watch till end so in any interview the first things the interviewee might be ask you is introducing introduction about yourself so if you see here we have to give our name first like my name is devi manohar from india hyderabad and my date of birth is 7th may 1995 after this you need to give your uh, education details where did you do your 10th standard from your 12th pass with your percentage or cgpa then if you have any experience please do include those experience here and you can add your hobbies and also your interest in studying the course here i have given my course masters in business analytics so similarly you can add your course there so after the introduction 99% 99% of the time definitely the interviewer might be ask you about why did you choose to study in the uk this is very important question and you need to be thorough with your answer and you, you must be so confident that the interviewer should not go to further questions like why did you like here what features and advantages attracted you is there anything that makes you uk unique how do these features or advantages help you in future plans or goals have you previously studied anywhere outside the uk so for the same question what did you choose to study in the uk you need to answer at least 5 to 6 points so that interviewer should be satisfied so here is a one of the example how i have given my answer so here I, i wrote i always dreamt about studying in uk after my bachelor's as it is one of the best places for international students and also it has rich cultural diversity and heritage and it is the sixth largest economy in the world and also uk is melting point for culture and languages and we get international exposure so in this way we need to research all these things and we need to answer in such a way that interview might be satisfied apart from this we can also add like as you in uk masters is only one year whereas in home country like india we have two years and also the quality of education the university rankings these all are important points to be noted so my second question here is did you consider studying in any other countries how many countries did you research 
why is the uk better choice are any of them better than uk in any way so in this question interview my want to ask you about uh, other countries because someone who is studying outside other in outside india or any other country they might be thinking like you should have you might have researched uh, other countries as well so we need to answer this question with uh, the quality of education in uk and the competitive exams and cash based reservations which are in india are difficult to crack so you have chosen uk compared to india and also if you have chosen any other country in my case i have also researched about france germany canada different countries so we need to compare how other countries are with uk how uk is better with better than other countries one example is if you want to study in france or germany or any european country there is a language barrier because if you if you go to france you need to learn french if you want to go to germany you need to learn german so which will take more time to learn language so it is a language barrier is there and also learning a language needs more time and money so you should mention this point compulsorily and also as i have mentioned uk has only one year masters but france has two years masters not only france in other countries like germany even in canada usa etc and also you can say like uh, in case of canada the temperatures are very extreme whereas comparatively uk has moderate temperatures so this is the answer for you consider any other countries so in every question we should try to give some facts and also compare how other countries are better or how uk is better than other countries so next question is why did you look at these countries and not any others so this is like extension to the previous question even in this question as well we need to answer the other uh, comparison with other countries like you can tell about the tuition fee how the and the cost of living that is different from uk and uh, other countries and also about how relevant is your course or modules compared to other countries and next question is why did you decide not to study in your home country how does the standard of education compare to uk what advantages does the uk has that your home country cannot provide so this is also on similar question wherein interviewer asking about why you didn't choose your home country previously they asked about why did why did you choose any other countries why not like that but in this question they are asking about your home country so the answers might be looking similar but in this we need to tell more about the home country suppose i am from india so we need to tell about the education system is not good in india and there are many entrance test to the universities and there are caste based reservations as well which are difficult to crack as there is heavy competition and mostly in india the education is theory based and uh, there aren't much research facilities and the universities in the uk provide best quality education compared to india and also the masters is one year whereas in india it is two years and more importantly british degrees is well reputed in my home country and uk degrees holder get more priority to the job sectors these are the examples how i answered to the questions but you can add your points as well and next thing which is very important why did you choose your university suppose i have chosen northumbrian university so they might be asking why did you choose the northumbrian university in this question we need to answer about 
how did you find out how did you find about this university what are what are the university's most attractive features and achievements why are these features or achievements relevant to your choice is there anything unique about the university so in this answer you need to cover all these questions this is a this is my sample answer i have researched so many things in internet wikipedia and the website as well the university website as well and i found this information so north american university sorry north american university is situated within the student hub in the heart of london city just a few minutes away from liverpool station the campus is located near the london's business financial district that gives base for gaining work experience and networking opportunities so in this we are telling where the university is situated and because of the because of the ideal situation in the university how we are getting the experience and networking opportunities now we are going to tell about the university the university is research oriented business focused student friendly professional university with global reputation for its academic excellence and it is also a business school with aacsb double accreditation so aaccb means associate to advanced collegiate school of business this is an organization for business schools which will give accreditation in business accountancy or in different fields so the northam university has double accreditation so next is the rankings how the university is ranking in the world you can find out the rankings in different websites like uh, times higher education university rankings if you see here you can get the times uh, higher education rankings worldwide now you can select country wide also country wide oxford cambridge these are all uk universities we can find out in this manner as well and one more website is the guardian uk university rankings it will also give the university rankings how satisfactory are the course how satisfied is the teaching these all are the metrics based on which you will get rankings 2022 2021 so if you want to show suppose now this is the north american university wherein in 2021 we have 27th rank and 2022 it is 41th rank and how satisfactory it is and how the student to staff ratio all these metrics are given in these websites so you need to thoroughly research all those things so that you can give in your interview to all these uh, things so that the interviewer will be happy that you have researched all those things so i have added the rankings as per the guardian and also also north american university is partnership with uh, qa higher education which is a largest corporate training provider because of this we can develop key skills and knowledge the employees are looking for as it is situated in the london campus in the heart of the city so these are some points about uh, the university next is uh, which other universities did you consider so apart from north american university which other universities you have considered in my case suppose if you are applying for any other university or of east london or oxford cambridge whatever it may be you might be such other universities as well so genuinely you need to answer how how much how many universities we have researched in my case i have researched university of east london cardiff metropolitan university from which portals i have researched the masters portal diksha idp and also we need to give the rank of the university how 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 much uh, tuition fee it is yearly and also we need to give the rankings of of our university compared to other universities what how it is better so this is the answer regarding universities next we need to 
uh, answer why do you choose your selected course how is this course relevant to your future plans did you consider any similar um, courses in the same subject area have you previously studied any other courses in the subject area how does this course relate to your previous studies or why do you want to study a course that isn't relevant to previous studies so this is all about the course maybe you might have chosen msc data science business analytics biotechnology whatever it may be you need to research about that course why did you choose maybe the modules you have like or maybe any certification courses that university is providing or maybe if you have any experience previously so you would like to enhance those experience by learning these skills you can answer all these things in this question and also you can say like maybe you are getting this much uh, salary in india but if you do this xyz course in uk you can get more salary so it is worth investing in my masters i can say like that as well so one more important thing is uh, the modules which you are going to study in that course what are the name of the your course in the module like the game might ask you can you describe the content of the modules how are these modules relevant to your future goals so this is about the modules so we need to know how much credits for this module how many semesters are there in this masters course so in my course we have seven modules the like leadership and management development research methods analytics for business practice strategic management for competitive advantage marketing metrics and analysis business intelligence blah 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 so for every course in the university website you can find the modules the credits to that modules and also the semesters which you are going to give in the masters it depends on uh, year to year like uh, for one year it will be different for two years masters it will be different so please go through your website and you can find all these details and importantly for this question uh, in the interview interviewer might be ask you to type the description of modules like what do you know about uh, this leadership and management so you need to type these uh, modules description in the chat box so be ready with that be ready with your spellings be ready with your uh, grammatical mistakes and all so they might assess you in that manner so apart from that uh, we have what do you plan to do after you have completed your studies what will be your short term goals what is your long term goals why did you choose this career path or options so we need to be genuine with these questions in short term what do you want to do in long term what do you want to do suppose if i want to tell you in short term we want to complete my masters we want to gain some experience and in the long term you want to utilize this experience and like maybe come back to india and uh, work in a good position like manager positions or any team lead client client leads in the in those positions maybe this looks genuine but you can also say like i would like to take psw from the university from the uk and utilize those two years to gain experience any any way it is fine so uh, in this video i will take uh, this as last uh, question as the time the length is increasing so what jobs would you be planning to apply for after completing your studies which what positions would you apply for which companies or employers have you searched where did you find this information how much salary you are getting yeah this is also similar to last question where in which uh, positions you want to like for in my case i would like i want to apply for business and list consultant roles in these blah 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 companies and i have researched this in last row basically at linkedin websites and how much money i am going to get after my masters so these things you need to apply the these things you need to know thoroughly before interview and please be practice these uh, things beforehand so that there won't be any rejections in your interview so in the next video we'll uh, 
know more about more questions like uh, when did you complete your previous studies uh, and all all those uh, small questions one don't answer questions there are no questions uh, also there till now we have seen the lengthy questions the explanation you need to give but uh, in the next set of questions there won't be much lengthy just uh, one more uh, one to one answers you need to give so as i said uh, i have completed my precas interview but uh, in my first attempt i failed my precas interview uh, let me show you my details so yeah so this is my precas booking interview form i have booked and uh, the date and time they have given we need to they will ask us the time and date which we would like to attend but in my case they only given me the interview date so after i have taken the date i failed in the interview this is pca retake so in the precas interview retake i have failed due to these these reasons they they have given student is not able to provide a valid reason for not studying in other speaking english student is not able to provide much sources of information student is not able to provide justification for selecting a course selecting the university elaborating career plans cost of living university campus address i have taken the precas interview so lightly and just casually i looked into these questions and uh, i failed so again uh, they have given me another chance to retake the interview and they have given me one week time and finally i clear the interview so so maybe you might be not getting second chance so that's why please prepare all these question and answers thoroughly so that you can pack your precas and you get your cash immediately so that you can apply your visa and you can go to your uh, destination uk as soon as possible without any hurdles so in the next video we will make we will do other questions as well thank you please subscribe